Hi, this is David Ellison from Megadeth, and you are watching Sonosphere TV. Tonight, I'm looking forward to seeing probably the jam, the uh, the Big Four jam, um, assuming we do one. But uh, and and the thing is, since I'm up there doing the jam, I actually have to go on YouTube and watch it later, right? <laughs> but uh, and and I say that because you know Diamond Head was just on, and and unfortunately I was busy with media and fan club and doing other stuff, you know, which is part of our day. So I didn't get a chance to get over there because the stage is a little bit of a trot over there, you know, yeah. but uh, but I heard them and they sounded fantastic. And and uh, so we've been jamming a Diamond Head song as part of our Big Four oh. jam. Assuming they're here, yeah. I would think it's safe to say that's probably going to, we'll play one of their songs tonight. So, and they'll, they'll get to be the special guest tonight. Are you done, huh? We've got to ask about the new album. Yeah. Tell us a bit about that. Well, we're actually, we've been playing a new song off of it called Public Enemy Number One. We actually just leaked it out on stage the other night on a little headlining show we did over in Hamburg, Germany. And uh, the response has been great. And, uh, and it's kind of cool because in a big festival thing where everybody's, you know, fisting the air going crazy, the whole place kind of like tempers for a minute because they're actually listening because it's a brand new song and they listen and then by the third chorus they're into it and they're rocking so uh, you know I think it, it's gonna have it's an album that'll have everything that a Megadeth fan will want it's got a lot of teeth to it it's there's some really ripping fast thrashing stuff there's some of the more melodic mainstream stuff like the, like Public Enemy um, which goes over great in these big festival settings so I think it will be an ultimate Megadeth album. Do you have any tips for fans at the festivals to surviving in these conditions? Well, we are in the UK and it does rain here once in a while. So I would say uh, bring either a, a change of clothes or at least bring a raincoat or something, <laughs> right? Because it's going to get muddy, right? Yeah, the and, toilets are going to be bad. Yeah, it's going to be bad. And if you're camping, you know, I don't know. I've never camped at one of these before, but I can only imagine. So I would say just try to stay dry and stay warm, you know? <laughs> 